Hello guys and welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. In this video I want to show you how you can create a very simple camera shake effects inside 3ds Max and let's see how we can create these uh, effects. Okay, so before starting creating a camera shake effects, let's see the result first. Here I have a animation which I did it before a few months ago. It was related to one of my projects. And at the beginning of this video, you can notice that uh, we have a slidey uh, camera shaky at the beginning, and it goes to the end. It is like look like the uh, hand holding camera, and we want to recreate these effects inside 3ds Max. It is very simple. Okay, so let's see how we can create this inside 3ds Max. First of all, we have to animate the camera. When I'm selecting my camera, you can see that uh, I have a very simple movement here. It's like a camera walkthrough. Uh, you can see that uh, we don't have any kind of effects on this camera. It is just a physical camera here uh, with no targets. And it is very simple. You can create or animate this uh, walkthrough very easily. So, I did it before. And for creating the camera effects, it's very simple. You need to go to the uh, helpers. Add a dummy object here inside the scene. Let me turn on the auto grid. Okay. So, I have my dummy object here, and then go to the motion panel, position, go to the design controller here, and add a noise position. Before you adding a noise position, it's better to add a position list to have more control on it. Okay. And then go to the position again, design controller, and add your noise position here. Here, okay. When I hit the button, okay, of the noise controller, you will notice that your dummy object will disappear. This is because of the noise controller parameters. You have to play with this. Uh, I'm reducing the strengths on X and Y and Z axis to 1, 1 and 1. And let's see where is our dummy object. Yeah, it's here. It's playing but the strength is more powerful than I did it in my camera. So, I will reduce the parameters again. Let's see uh, what we have here. It's very powerful. I will decrease the PAL value again to zero point one and is too much powerful. We can uh, get rid of the fractal noise and also decreasing the frequency to 0 0.1 and then hit the play button again. Now it's slightly camera shaky effects. And now how you can transform this uh, shaky effects to your camera. It's very simple. So, for doing that, you have to select your camera and go to the top view, then select a link, select your camera and link it to your dummy object. And now when you're playing the animation, you will notice that uh, it's too shaky. So we have to decrease again the parameters and now I will decrease the frequency to for example 0 0.06 or 5 and the X strength to 0 0.02 and then I will play the animation again and now it's much more better it's very realistic 
you can see that we created a camera shake effect very easily and you can play with these values even you can add a fractal noise it's too much noisy and I don't like it so I prefer to turn it off and that's it for today's video and I hope you guys like this video and here is my YouTube channel if you like this video please do subscribe turn on notification for the future videos and I'll see you in the next videos coming up. Thanks for the watching and take care.